Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. So question for you, are Tesla pumpers and shields paid? Uh, this is a question I wanna explore with you because I have a lot to say about this and I wanna get your thoughts and I'll share mine as well. Um, first, this is a comment coming in on one of the pumper channels just recently, just an hour ago, uh, from George to Farzad, one of the pumper channels. He says here, oh Farzad, uh, Farzad um, when you started, I was with you. When your channel was nothing, but lately I am a bit disappointed on how much you have entered the panderverse of Tesla fanboying. There would be so much to say to this, but FSD uh, will never be what you think it's going to be. And Farzad replies, uh, I respectfully disagree. Um, I wanna go over the definition of shill if you don't know. Uh, so shill, there's a couple different definitions. One is an accomplice of a hawker, gambler, or swindler who acts as an enthusiastic customer to entice or encourage others. Here's another definition. A person who pretends to give an impartial endorsement of something in which they themselves have an interest. And if you go over to like a Farzad channel, and there's a bunch of pumper channels out there for Tesla. He's got like the robots are coming and he makes all these crazy uh, video covers and you know hangs out with other pumpers. And essentially they just puff up and fluff Elon Musk and Tesla as much as they can. And I always call this stuff out because it's funny. Uh, when I showed my wife this kind of stuff for the first time, the first thing she's like, are these empo paid employees of Tesla? <laughs> That's what you would think, right? And um, I, I wanna dig into this because it's way more complicated than, than you realize probably for those of you who are just getting into this game. Um, there's this dude named Ben Solens. And for those of you who are older, you probably remember this guy. Uh, he had a channel called Teslanomics. And in fact, um, you can watch a video over on CNBC. They got a pretty good video on it. Uh, it says here, YouTube star referred over 12 million in Tesla sales and got two free cars. So in essence, he is a bit paid there, right? So Tesla had a, an affiliate program. Uh, he figured out a way to game the system. <laughs> and essentially when you know you have a social media personality, you can refer a lot of quote of your quote friends. And uh, essentially what, what he started out doing is like essentially making videos about um, how much it costs to own a Tesla, these kind of things. Now, what I find interesting about it though today, uh, if you go look at the CNBC site, he actually took the video down He's no longer Teslanomics, and he just named his channel to his name, uh, which is Ben Solons. Now, according to CBC, though, they, they did say, um, although he was one of the, the phrase they used, top performing participants of Tesla's program, but he's saying it was not affiliated nor sponsored by the company. Um, I bring this up because uh, when I mentioned the Marquise Brown thing, MKBHD, and the Cybertruck stuff, um, a lot of people in comments were saying that they were really turned off by Marcus because they felt like uh, he was no longer independent. And, and, I, and I think that's an interesting question, right? Because who knows? I'll leave that up for you to decide. Um, but I will say, though, some of these influences out there certainly do not have your best interests at heart. Let me give you an example of one you probably have not heard of. Uh, this is a Chinese, uh, Chinese influencer, actually, over on Taobao. This was a couple of years ago. And uh, she was actually pumping up uh, Tesla, believe it or not. And what's interesting about this one, and if you guys understand how this game is played, <laughs> in, in, in Asia, it's, it's, it's much more obvious than, say, in the USA, because like these kind of people, they're basically models, right? And um, they don't do things for free. Um, moreover, the American game is a little bit more different because people, how can I say, they just kind of go along with it because there are, is certainly something in, in beneficial for them. And this is where I bring in the ethics part of it, right? So I'm not saying that it's either ethical or unethical, uh, in terms of like the Chinese person, because we all know that she's probably paid. She's a model. <laughs> it's not not a cheap person. And so like you kind of expect that. Whereas something like in the American system, it, it, it's they how can I say they hide it better? Uh, maybe because um, people don't like paid shills. I, I don't know. Um, it, I'll leave you for you to decide this. But let me give you an example of Lex Friedman. Uh, he's a popular podcaster person. Um, guys, just hop on over to the Wikipedia page. Um, I, you can find stuff so easily these days. Information is out there. And I encourage you for any of this stuff, please Google everything for yourself and just question things. Um, so basically what this guy did, uh, he was at MIT, got his PhD from Drexel. And in fact, he, he wrote something that um, said that, you know, FSD is going to be awesome. I'll read the description here. It says, uh, Friedman rose to prominence after he co-authored a non-peer-reviewed study so that means um, uh, if you don't, if you understand how academia works, you write something, and other people who are qualified to evaluate your research will give their opinion, right? So this is non-peer-reviewed, meaning that other experts didn't really give much of an opinion. <laughs> and then it said here uh, the conclusion of the thing that concluded that drivers remain focused while Tesla's auto semi-autonomous system, uh, which received positive response from Elon Musk. So basically, he's just saying um, 
that the that the FSD is going to be awesome and the drivers are you know it's not going to take away from drivers and safety and that kind of stuff and then you can see here but was criticized by AI uh, experts so essentially what what I'm telling you here was say the Freeman thing he became popular because he wrote a paper praising Elon Musk and then Elon Musk picked it up on social media and social media uh, has it has a big following over there and therefore you can make it so that is one way uh, that you can be paid in a way paid by Elon Musk's attention. Another way is uh, you frankly just form uh, financial bonds, right? So this is the ARK Invest and the Elon Musk thing. You guys know this. They've been pumping up each other for a long time now. And um, this is more overt. And I want you to understand that, that there is real money involved. What's interesting is that even though um, Tesla likes to claim that they don't uh, spend money on advertising, etc., what they do spend money on, though, is they have uh, a bunch of influencers come to their factories, meet with Elon, meet with you know different people, and then they essentially give them access, uh, insider access. But they, you know, going to review said channels and make sure you aren't going to say anything negative, right? So that's how the game is played. So don't don't necessarily ex accept automatically that they don't have any advertising budget. They certainly have a marketing budget there, right? That's a big part of it. Moreover, there is a possibility that there could be money funneled. Uh, from Tesla to, to Ark Invest, and Ark Invest uh, could be sending out information to uh, influencers, et cetera, or just the way that things are done. So I'll give you an example. And there's a reason why this is coming up today, why I'm bringing it up today. Uh, there's a couple uh, influencers out there. So one, this is a real account, um, Tesla Boomer Mama, and then I guess her husband's Tesla Boomer Papa. That's what they name themselves. Uh, this person's Alexandra Mers, and there's another person named Amy. She's also a Tesla person. Um, they actually wrote a letter recently, um, this is just a couple hours ago, uh, in support of Elon Musk and in support of Elon Musk getting paid lots more money and in support of Elon Musk getting 25% voting uh, control over Tesla. And, and the reason why that this stuff's kind of odd, and Elon Musk even comments on, on said post, is like it, it, is, it is similar to many other the Tesla channels. Um, they're not really objectively telling you everything about Tesla. They're just pointing out good news and then basically um, supporting Elon Musk in every way <laughs> possible, which maybe they're going with the, the Lex Friedman kind of method where like, hey, if Elon Musk likes my post, then suddenly I can have my own podcast, etc. So, you know, there's certainly alternative motives there. The point being is, guys, and it's just sort of what I'm trying to get with, get, get with you to be thinking about is when someone is like telling you stuff about Tesla, um, just understand they may not necessarily have your interest at heart. They have their interest at heart, right? And this comes up very frequently if you do social media, guys. I do it. I do YouTube every day, right? I do it every day. So I, I understand like sort of the things that are going on that you may not necessarily know about. Like I'll give you a simple example. Um, and other people on, on, on YouTube, you know, if you watch YouTube, you probably know about this situation. This was Linus Tech Tip. So I used to really like this guy. I used to watch him all the time. Like, you know, if I thinking about buying a phone or whatever, I'm going to, you know, say, hey, what do you think about said phone or, you know, said graphics card, et cetera. Um, he stepped down from CEO and uh, they were called out over on another channel. This is Gamers Nexus. They got like 5 million views and it's a lot of people have seen this. So you may have seen it. Um, but basically they make this long video saying, yo, we test the same stuff that Linus did and like our numbers are coming back differently. And the way that Linus was, was doing things, we, we think there's some shady stuff going on. <laughs> Meaning that like you're not really testing stuff. You're just like promoting companies, et cetera. Uh, Linus steps down, they give a big apology. Then there's got sexual harassment stuff. This is like, it's just a whole mess. And, and I just want you to realize that like, I, I, again, um, understand the games that are being played behind the scenes because um, the reason why I can pick up on this stuff, like I'll give you an example. Um, this was the creators agency, which I talked about. Uh, I was the first one, the person to talk about then everyone act like they all knew, but they didn't. <laughs> but uh, you can find my old videos about FTX and creators agency, please do. Um, but essentially, there, there's a network of um, uh, financial influencer people that are all at the same agency and they promote the same products. They are not independent and they're all pumping you FTX. And what it did, it was created a false sense of security because like, oh, well, I go to YouTube and all my favorite, you know, 20 year old YouTubers with backward baseball hats like FTX and crypto and NFTs, and therefore it must be awesome. Um, it's a similar kind of situation with Tesla. And, and the reason why I always call these things out, because like they stay, they, they, these people like have no licenses, no education, and then was even worse. I, I would say even worse. The people who actually are educated, because some of these Tesla pumpers, like um, this, uh, here he is right here, this Tesla mama person, she's not stupid by any means. She's not stupid. The same way that Kathy Wood is not stupid. These aren't stupid people. Or the Farzad guy, he's not a dumb person. He's not dumb. Um, they, they purposely lie and hide things from you. And people always say, well, how do they lie? 
they lie by omission. So here's a simple example. The, um, the SMR guy is, is really good at the solving money problem, dude. He's, he's probably the, the biggest liar by omission, dude. So uh, if a channel is like saying, hey guys, look at the, the deliveries, look at the deliveries, look at the deliveries, but they never actually talk about profits. <laughs> That's lying by omission, right? Or they say, oh, look at revenue, look at revenue, look at revenue. But they never talk about expenses. Again, that's lying by omission. This is the kind of stuff they do, or they give you like ludicrous numbers that, you know, Tesla's gonna like a million X from here, this kind of stuff, which is insane, right? Okay, so then if you're smart enough to do the math, then be like, okay, Tesla's gonna be bigger than the whole planet. Like, it's, it, this doesn't make sense, but I get it, right? If, if you can't do math, and if you blindly follow these people, you're gonna fall into these traps. Um, the other thing too I wanna point out as well, and, and, and I wonder this, and I, this is something else I, I've been thinking about, is like, are these people getting money from ARK Invest or stuff like that? Cause like, I see a lot of this ARK Invest pumping. This is just three hours ago. She's like, oh look, ARK, Ark is buying this, ARK is buying that. And I understand guys, that's that's been going a lot, a lot on YouTube, but you kind of question these these kind of things when you start to see patterns and, and when people are saying the, the same kind of stuff. So I'll give you an example. This is going back to the crazy agency thing. So they actually changed their website. They still have influencers over there and moreover, uh, if you don't know, I've done videos on this kind of people before. Again, this is an agency that, that pumps a bunch of uh, financial influencer people. They were at FinCon. I've made videos about this, but this is sort of their booth. They re try to recruit other YouTubers and it's all about promoting stuff to you. You can see it right there. Um, moreover, this is the thing that, that I want to just mention. Like guys, if, if you watch a, say a Tesla channel and, and they don't mention something like this, and this is sort of how you pick up if this is a pumper channel or, or not, like this is the headline. Tesla asks which jobs are critical stoking layoff fears. So chances are they're going to be firing people over at Tesla, meaning that maybe they're not growing so much. <laughs> like, like if you're cutting staff, you're not growing so much, right? Or you take a look at this. This is the, their sales. Like it's slowing down, right? Like if they never show you these kind of things, it's just, it's just numbers. Uh, or their R&D, maybe, you know, it's not going as, as up as much as it needs to be because you because you have competitors from uh, Toyota to Honda, et cetera, coming into the market, right? If they don't show you these kind of things and then they, all they say is like, wow, we should pay Elon Musk a lot more money. Like, like, it's like, like what? <laughs> like, how does that make any sense? How does that make any sense at all? Like, are you, are you being paid by Tesla? Is Elon Musk paying you? Is Ark paying you? Like, what is going on? I'll give you another example. So, and, and this is just, this is just like factual things. Uh, Tesla sold only one car in Korea in January. So I live here in Korea, so we're not caught up into the Tesla hype like you all over there. And, and this is something that, that's really funny when you read the description of this kind of stuff. Um, it says here, most Koreans who wanted to buy a Tesla cars have bought one, meaning that if you really wanted one, you got one already, and there's only gonna be a fine amount of people who want one. Moreover, some people don't like Tesla recently after finding some of them are made in China. <laughs> and, and and this is like, like a really fun thing to talk about, right? I, I'm not just making random stuff up and, and I'm just telling you guys, I live here in Korea, I tell you the truth on all these things. Um, we don't like stuff that's made in China. We think it's shoddy material. If you're gonna buy something, you know, regular Koreans here think, okay, Korean products are fine, Japanese products are fine, America can be okay. <laughs> it's a long discussion on that one. I don't wanna get too down that rabbit hole. But um, the, the point being though, is that I, I honestly just try to tell you as much as I can all of the time to keep you all informed. And, and I do find it very, very concerning these situations. And it's like, in, in what world, you know, do we live into where like people are just this quote, independent, you know, over on Twitter slash X saying that they want Elon Musk to get paid a whole bunch of money. Elon Musk comments on their posts, et cetera. And they send a letter to the board asking for said things, claiming that all of these, you know, shareholders are, are in it. And um, evidently she got like 5,000 something people to sign the letter to the board. And <laughs> who knows, the pumper channels are gonna say, oh, this is a great community, et cetera. And, and, and we want Elon Musk to get paid more. It's just, it, it comes across really bizarre to me. So uh, that's all I have to say about these things. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And the question I'll pose to you is, are these people paid? Uh, are they being paid by Tesla or ARK Invest? Or are they just trying to, uh, do the Lex uh, free was it Lex Friedman formula, which is essentially pump up Elon and hope that you can get your own podcast or whatever someday. Um, but uh, you know you do these things and it's not peer reviewed, uh, nor is it independent. Uh, you have your own uh, personal interest at hand. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one, and um, I'll catch you in the next video.